Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the deck of our mega ship. So anyways, guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more content similar to this, where it's building, build challenges, tutorials, all that fun stuff. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. So guys, the first thing I want to change is this walkway right here. I'm going to go ahead and replace, or not replace it, but I want to add rails to it so it's much safer to walk up especially when the ship is rocking. So I think we're going to go ahead and add only one support, which will be right here and here. So let's grab the end segment for the walkway rail. So we'll just place it here and here. Okay, now let's grab the filler block for it. So it's this one right here. Nope, it's not that one. It's this one, the inclined one. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to hover over this. Actually, we're going to try and connect it to this block right here just like that okay so that's working so let's just go ahead finish filling it in oh this one's upside down so let's go ahead and turn it upside down and turn it around okay now let's place uh this one's upside down as well and backwards hmm. oh you know what these okay both of those were upside down backwards so this one is backwards at the moment there we go okay so let's just finish filling that in just like that okay then let's start from the bottom so that's upside down there we go and there we go that's done oh, that's not done there we go okay now let's go ahead and grab corner rails this one right here and let's simply just place it right here and here just like that okay so now let's go ahead and drag this down let's go ahead and grab the black color or the black paint color Let's just drag it down like that. Same for the other side. There we go. Okay. Let's fix this and this. There we go. All right. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and move this crane back a block. So we have more space for something to go right here. So let's simply select all of it. Just like this. Move it down. And there we go. Oh. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and move it back. Let's move it back to, I'm going to say right here. So only back one block, but we still have more room from there. So now let's go ahead and go to the other side with the same selection grid and move it forward a block and cut it. And we will paste it back here, back a block. Okay, cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just simply place a window right here because this wall is kind of uh, a little bit of an eyesore I, I guess you could say at the moment there's nothing really on it so let's go ahead and place a port every three blocks just like that okay let's go go ahead and grab a port all right let's go ahead and place it down and there we go okay so now uh what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and you know what actually these cranes, I wonder if we could, no, never mind. I was gonna say maybe we could turn it sideways, but uh, let's not do that. All right, so what I wanna do right here is I want to add a mechanism so that we can lift and lower a submarine that we're going to build for the ship. So our submarine length can be up to five meters. That's kind of short. Hmm. Maybe we'll make the submarine slightly shorter, and that way we can get it to... Uh, how long is this? This is 8 meters? Yeah, we can go to 8 meters. Alright, so let's go ahead and build an arm for that. So let's go ahead and simply fill this in with red really quickly. Okay. Um, let's see. How tall can we make the submarine? Uh, let's see, this is uh, 10 blocks tall, That I think that'll work, maybe. So this is, this is going to have to be a very small submarine, but it might just work. So, the submarine, let's see, let's, let's make it all the way over to here. So this is 9 blocks wide. Okay, so, uh, let's see, let's make a area dedicated to it so let's grab this color of gray and make the part where it's going 
be a color of gray. So let's go ahead and paint this area all the way back to here. Okay, let's go ahead and fill this in just like that. All right, um, let's go ahead and add this dark gray for the outside or the outline. And let's just simply fill that in. Okay, so let's grab green and fix that. All right, so let's go ahead and get block yellow and make a cautionary line so people don't fall off. I suppose we can say. All right, let's go ahead and simply finish that up. Oh, okay, let's grab our dark orange and we'll just simply fill this in just like that all the way across so it makes it look like a caution sign or well, a caution walkway. Maybe I'll let's go ahead and change it to yellow. So how we can do that, so we can grab this color, we can drag it all the way across here. Okay, we can grab yellow and we could fill paint that. And then all we have to do from there is grab this and just fill this back in. We don't have to replace all because that would change the crane's color. And yeah, here we go. Okay, so I think I'm just going to put on a track that moves like a tracked crane. So the crane itself shouldn't take up too much space, but it'll go from right here all the way out to here. So let's go ahead and place this along here. All right, this will go up to here and this will go to here, I guess. Uh, is that merged? Yes. Okay, so now all we're going to do is we're going to attach a magnet to it. Actually, no, we're, we're gonna attach a rope to it. So let's grab a, actually, let's do a winch so we can winch it down. That would make m the most sense. So a medium winch will probably do the job. So let's go ahead, turn it sideways like this. And let's go ahead and uh, leave that like that, I guess. So now let's go ahead and grab the crane, just like this. Okay, let's go ahead and copy it. Let's invert it. And let's paste it over here. Just like, um, back of the lock right here. There we go, that'll do. So now this smokestack, we will just build this to right here. Then we will cut and paste it to the other side. We'll copy and paste it to the other side. And there we go, let's merge it. Okay, now let's go ahead and repaint this section right here to red so that the smokestack's not out of color. All right, there we go. So now let's go ahead and replace these because that didn't paste over well. Oh, you know what? That was supposed to be the winch, but I didn't grab the winch. So let's just simply place the winch back. Okay, so this will be the area dedicated to the submarine. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work on the bridge a bit. So, back here is the throttle control. So let's simply hook all this up. So this is engine one, I believe. Okay, this is engine two, so let's connect this to two. This is three, so let's connect this to three. This will be four. Okay, this is, oh, that's not even a number. Okay, this is five, which five is right here. Let me just hover over RPS. Let me just zoom in instead, that'd be easier. Okay, so now let's connect six to engine six RPS. Okay, seven will go to seven right here okay then eight will finally go to eight so let's go ahead and connect this up to eight all right then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add our thrust well not a thrust our clutch controls okay oh we don't need a literal clutch but we can use both throttle levers so let's just place them down just like this then two push buttons this one right here and this will control up to both and there's going to be two total um so four engines per side there's going to be two props or two propulsion systems for the entire ship 
So let's go ahead and next this up really quickly. So this will be up, this will be down. So this will be both clutch up. Okay, let's go ahead and copy this. Okay, let's paste right here. Let's replace up with down. All right, now let's go ahead and work on our propulsion system. So let's go ahead and I guess bring it through the floor, I suppose we could do that. So let's go ahead and delete a solid line all the way to here. Okay, let's grab a pipe, this one right here, enclosed pipe. And let's fill that in right there. Okay, we're gonna go over here, do the exact same thing. Let's turn it and place it. Okay, now this one, we'll do the same and we will place it just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and fill the colors back in. So black will go on the edge and dark gray will go in the middle. So let's go ahead and paint that as well as this and that. Okay. So now let's go ahead and grab a corner pipe. Oh, like spike. This one right here. Let's paint it white for now. Okay, just like that. And let's paint the top grid, or black, I mean. Okay, let's go ahead and connect pipes all the way across to right here. And that didn't work. Okay, there we go, it did work. All right, let's grab the corner pipe from right here. And let's simply place it down right here. And now let's grab a T-pipe, so we can connect it to all four engines. All right, there we go. Now let's place it to this engine, as well as this engine. So, now right here, we're going to grab this pipe right here, and place it into this room right over here. So, let's go ahead and drag this over to here. Let's grab a enclosed pipe, this one right here, and let's go ahead and put some really big generators. Actually, you know what? Let's have a direct uh, direct line to our propulsion system. All right, so back here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete as many blocks, and then we're going to add a water jet. This one right here. Okay, let's go ahead and place some of the blocks back. So we only need back to here to delete. So let's delete this. Actually, we only need like one block of it, I suppose. Uh, never mind, we need two blocks in height. So let's go ahead and place this right here. Right here will be a port. This one here, the blue port. Let's go ahead and paint this a bit. Now let's go ahead and paint this area right here so it's not a sore thumb. Well, I guess you could say that, but. Uh, what I mean by that is so it doesn't stand out. So now let's go ahead and I suppose connect this up right here. Uh, and maybe let's add a wedge here and here. Okay, now let's go ahead and connect this up. Let's drag this to right here. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some pipes. The corner pipe will go right here, and the enclosed pipe will go from here. Ooh, oh, that didn't work. Uh, maybe let's press J. There we go. Nope, that didn't work again. Okay, let's go ahead and drag it to here. There we go. All right, so let's connect this to here. So let's drag this to here. We're going to go ahead and point it up, just like this. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and point this sideways by a block and then actually let's go one block over and then inwards just like this. Okay, let's grab the enclosed pipe, enclosed straight pipe and we'll just place it down right there. Okay, let's go ahead and drag this to here and this will be dragged all the way back to right here. So let's delete these two and place a curved pipe right here. Okay, let's go ahead and add clutches right here and we'll add maybe two gearboxes. One will be reverse, one won't be. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a lockable button. Uh, this one right here. And a threshold gate. And we'll just place it right here. 
uh, two threshold gates. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn them so they're facing the same way, and let's go ahead and just like this. Okay, this and we put the lockable button to unlock it, and these throttles will go into here and here. So if the throttles are at the value of zero, then you can put it in reverse. So basically what you have to do is you have to pull in the clutch and then you can put it in reverse. So basically there's a safety mechanism so you don't intentionally stall it. So now let's go ahead and put, actually these need to be named as left clutch. Okay, let's go ahead and copy this. Let's paste it in here. This will be right clutch. Okay, there we go. Let's turn the sensitivity to... Let's go 50%. Alright, there we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and drag this all the way back here to the clutch. And let's do the same for the other. So this will go all the way to here. And there we go. So... Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I think let's go ahead and hook up the reverse really quickly. So let's add two gearboxes. Uh, this one right here as well as this one. So one will be facing backwards, one will be facing forwards, and one will be a 3 to 1 gear ratio and I did not have mirror mode on. Dang it. Okay, let's delete these and place them back. So, one will be facing backwards, and one will be facing forwards. So this one will be... Oh, they're both facing the wrong way. Okay, so this will be facing backwards. Sorry, this one right here will be facing forwards, and then this one right here will be facing backwards. So this one right here will be a 3 to 1 ratio. Oh, like spike. 3 to 1 gear ratio, and this one right here will be 3 to 1. So this one will speed up this side to be three times faster on this side. This one right here will be a one to negative one, which will be the reverse. So let's go ahead and go to the lockable button and put it, or hook it up to the reverse. So let's go ahead and go back to this one right here. All right, now let's go ahead and name the lockable button because we didn't do that yet to reverse. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and on the propulsion system, let's add a generator so that we generate power when we're idle. So that way we don't waste uh, fuel on nothing. And we also don't lose our battery when the engines are on. So now let's go ahead and save it and spawn it in. Okay, now that it's spawned in, let's go ahead and test it out for the first time. We are going to have to turn on infinite electricity just because we don't have any power hooked up, but that's totally fine. So all, thr all throttle engines up. So let's go for a second, let's go check the engine room. We still need to hook the engine display up, but they're all at 11, that's totally fine. So let's go back into the bridge and let's turn on the engines. Okay, let's turn on infinite fuel until I turn the fuel gauges on. So let me do that really quick. Well, the fuel switches, I mean. Okay, so they all have fuel. Let's go ahead and turn this off. The sound be slowing down. I guess not, but... Oh, only half the engines are on. Think. But what's going wrong with this then? It shows. Oh, the. Uh, okay. Huh, that's odd. Let's go back down and see what's the problem. So, it'll be these four engines. They all have throttle. Okay, let's just simply restart the starters. Oh, 
Okay, that should work. So let's go ahead back and go back up into the bridge and now try it out. Hey, there we go, both engines are working. All right, so let's go ahead and pull the right clutch in so that we have uh, thrust from that side and then this side. Oh, this is actually pretty quick. How fast are we going? Wow, that's actually really fast. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and turn a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here because I ran out of time. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. It'll be linked down below. And while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Anyways, guys, bye for now.